A really great song has three parts, a beak, an anus, and a hat. And any good artist will be able to tell you when they got all three. When I sit down to write a song, the first thing I usually do is take all my clothes off and throw up all over the place. And that way I'm kind of in the groove. I don't have to worry about my clothes catching on fire. And I don't need to take any breaks to throw up. Sometimes I just start strumming the guitar and play a chord, you know, like this is a G. And I, I try to feel what it makes me think about, so. It makes me think of protein powder. And then I'll play a C. It makes me think of protein powder. And then like a D, which makes me think of protein powder. I once got a vasectomy in case my vas deferens was making my voice worse. It wasn't. Don't believe everything you read in Guitar World magazine. You know, you can really write a song anywhere. One time I wrote a song on top of a grape. Songs should always have a purpose. In the case of Funeral, I wrote it because I needed to play something to scare the seagulls away from my family's shrimp trawler. Whenever I'm really stuck, I'll usually email Paul McCartney and say, you got another song in you or what, you old freaky fucker? And every single time he responds with a fully composed song, lyrics, everything. You know, like, sometimes I do kill a dog when I'm writing a song, and I do not apologize for that. When I'm still trying to get the melody just right, I'll often use placeholder text as temp lyrics, and something like, When Butler has beautiful hips, Wind's hips are gorgeous and good, Why don't more people talk about that? Wind butler, more like hips butler. The prince of the hips that are nice and round and smell so fine. People should worship his hips, his big boy hips, his big boy hips. You know, and just kind of go from there.